Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to do my update to my Pandos Eyeshadows Project Pan. So, before we jump into my update, if you're new here, hello, my name is Helena and on this channel I do love to use the makeup that I already own. So if you like Project Panning content, this is definitely a place for you to stick around. I also really enjoy buying shit and testing out new makeup. So if you like that as well, you know, you find both worlds here. And you should definitely consider subscribing. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump into this update. Uh, so this product pan was created a long time ago by a girl, uh, by Alexi, and her channel and everything like will be linked down below. But what is so fun is that this project has kind of taken its own. Everyone doing it is doing it quite like with some changes. Uh, what I do is. I have six eyeshadows, five that are generated randomly from my collection, and one that is handpicked. I work on the shadows for either to hit pan, which is, you know, the ultimate goal, or to use it 20 times. Um, using a shadow 20 times is kind of, you know that shadow then, and if pan is far away, then I'm not forcing myself to hit pan on everything. If I generate a press glitter or a black shadow, I have the goal to use it 10 times. And yeah, I think that is it. This is the color story that I have been working on. It's interesting, I don't know. Has been pretty fun to dive into these colors. Uh, last update, I had a very successful update. I had uh, all of the, from the black one here to down below, are from the last update. And this blue up here uh, has been in the longest. And that one comes from my, made by M M M Mitchell, Head in the Clouds um, palette. This is a big ass palette, as you can see, it's covering my entire face, but it's been really, really fun to have it out and play with. It's actually a very nice eyeshadow palette. So I decided to continue working on this because I had reached my goal of using it 20 times, last update, but I was, uh, as you can see in the pictures, I had a substantial dip and I just thought that, you know, it's been very fun to use it. I use it uh, on the inner corner to have like a matte bright blue inner corner very very pretty uh, so i continue to reach for it and i have now used the shade it's called bora blue i've used it 10 20 31 times and we are looking like this so i was finally able to hit pan. This is a deep ass pan. You can see that dip. And obviously I was using it primarily in my inner corner so I used kind of a small brush which is why I have that dip. But yeah. Deep pans in this one. Um, but that, that one is going to roll out after 31 uses. Yay me! Hey! My dog is entering, is opening the door. Hey. Okay, uh, then we have a matte black, which is why I mentioned that rule. This is a black eyeshadow from my Pastel Roses, The Greatest Ghost Show on Earth palette. This is there from their holiday, from Halloween last year. Now, we had a bit of an accident. So this is not looking very pretty because you know what happened when I uh, rolled it in and was going to photograph it last month? Did I drop the eyeshadow palette? Yes I did. And if you know Pastel Roses eyeshadows, um, some of them are very very lightly packed. I mean the super pretty duochrome shimmers are very lightly packed. So I fucking shattered two of my shades and I had a very pretty floor. Did it also? Do you think that they just fell out like a good round circle? Or do you think it splattered everywhere like a fucking crime scene? What do we think? So yeah, I ruined the two prettiest shades in this palette 
that is just mm. making me very, very, very upset. But anyways, I have used this shade. It's called Haunted. I've used Haunted 10 times and as I said, that is my goal for black eyeshadow. You can see I do have a dip now because I was using it uh, as, a, as an eyeliner sometimes. Uh, also packed it on the outer corner quite a bit. So, but I have used it 10 times so I am going to roll it out even though there is no pan. But I am happy um, to have used that shade 10 times. I have also, didn't say that, but my goal is when I have, when I work on this project to, to utilize all the other shades in my palette, the palettes that I generate. So I have been using uh, all the shades in this one and I have also been using all the shades in this one, um, believe it or not, since it's so big, but yeah, it's been very fun to, to work on the palette and not just one shadow. Okay, moving on, we have this super stunning, like, green-blue shade, um, shimmer shade, or metallic, and that one comes from the Cos Terra Moon Cosmetics uh, Cosmic Wanderer palette. This is a very beautiful, dark palette, um, and, uh, yeah, the shade I enrolled is called Aurora. And yeah, it's like a blue, green, maybe even some purple in there. And I have used Aurora. I want to say Aurora because that's what you say in Swedish. Uh, I've used it seven times. It is on my lower lashes today. Not like super, super much, but you can see that shine there. Uh, so yeah, I've used it seven times. It is a super stunning palette and it's been fun to have out. And uh, this is Aurora. So obviously no pan, but you can see that there's some disturbance in there. But I'm not mad to continue working on this because, I mean, it's a beautiful palette. Uh, it's a beautiful shade. Uh, it is a bit dark, I feel like, so it's not for every day. But I'm not mad to, you know, leave it in for a couple of more updates, if that is what it takes. Then this shade, this like peach sparkly shade, uh, is my hand selected shade. So I did decide to hand pick a shade from my Odin's Eye Elva 2 palette. Don't know if they still make this. No, not sure. But yeah, I, I hand picked the shade Crystal and it looked like that. And I have now used Crystal uh, 13 times and this is what it looks like. So you can see that big, big pan there. This shade is actually, it's, I don't know if it's because it's, the palette is getting older, but this shade specifically is quite flaky. So I feel like I, ca I kind of move it around a lot when I uh, have used a brush in it and so on. So after 13 uses I was able to hit pan on that shade. I am now happy that I can see a pan in this palette and I have also used all the shades. I think that prior to rolling crystal in I for example had not used this blue down here. I don't think I've used that blue either before rolling it in so it's been good to make use of all of the shades in this palette, but that one is rolling out. And then we have this brown maroon shade down here. Uh, it's a matte shade and it comes from my Blend Bunny Cosmetics Surge palette. Really enjoyed uh, working on this one. They have beautiful mattes and uh, this shade has been very easy to incorporate with all of the other shades. Uh, not Bora Blue per se or the green one, but crystal and the black and the purple down here. It's been really easy. I've been using the shade and it's called Grunge. I've been using that one 14 times and we are looking like that. So this is where Grunge is and I mean maybe you can see the smallest dip but 
let's just face it, I'm not gonna hit pan on this one in seven uses. Six uses. It's just not going to happen. Uh, and I think that I'm going to be satisfied just working on it for 20 uses. Um, but yeah, I have six more uses to go. Super, super stunning shade. Very, very, very easy to work with. Um, yeah, don't don't have anything bad to say about this palette. It's great. Um, but it is remaining in the project. And then finally we have this purple down here. That is the shade Passion Fruit from my Fauve Galore Perth palette, which looks like this. And uh, yeah, I am wor wearing, wor wearing, I'm wearing that shade today on the lid. Uh, it is a beautiful um, kind of periwinkle-ish shimmer shade. Um, and I have used that shade 16 times so quite a lot i've been using it both on the lid and uh, on the lower lashes it's been very easy to incorporate and we are looking like this so i put it on today praying that i was going to pan but alas no pan i mean i have pan in this one and i think it's just a matter of like one two uses and i will have pan but we still don't have it. So it is remaining in the project. It will definitely be rolling out next time. Um, yeah, it's quite a big dip. I was experiencing hard pan um, like in the beginning, but when I kind of made my dip bigger, I, uh, I haven't experienced hard pan anymore. So yeah, that is that shade and this means that we are actually rolling out half of the shades from my from this color story which is super exciting i love the most fun part is of course to generate new shades so we are going to generate three new shades no we're going we are going to generate two shades and i'm going to hand pick one shade that is what we're doing uh, and i can't can't wait okay so this is the colors that we have moving forward and i currently have 3184 shadows i did declutter some palettes uh, it's still an insane number we do not judge we just appreciate my love for eyeshadows uh, so we're going to generate two numbers ignore this number it just popped up and i unlocked my phone but yeah let's start with number the first number 186 and then 2759 high and low low and high let me check up those uh, numbers to see if they are eligible and uh, I will be right back okay I am super super excited this is my new color story look at that I am so excited okay let's start with this one i accidentally swatched them in the wrong order so this one is the number 2000 and what were you 2759 is that shade it is like a gray green duochrome kind of shade there is like some purple in it also so maybe i can mix them but anyways that one's <laughs> that one comes from this little fella here uh, this is the Pariah House Cosmetics uh, Strange and Unusual Palette and the shade is actually the same name so the shade is called Strange and Unusual and yeah this is what that palette looks like it's very cute there are only shimmers in this one but the shade is this one up here the Strange and Unusual I mean, any of these shades would have gone well if I had gotten the purple. That would also be, you know, working out fine. But yeah, um, I have used this palette, but not like I have used it once or something. So perfect with a small little palette to play around with during summer. So that will be the, the uh, 2759. Then this like light yellow green it's like a lime green shimmer 
That one comes from my Dito Cosmetics Aphrodite palette. These palettes are super super stunning. They have like a bunch of them in like warrior uh, queen or gods, uh, I mean. Not warrior, gods. Uh, and this is Aphrodite. Look at this, it's so pretty. And I enrolled the six shade they are they do have like greek symbols and i do not know what the symbol is but the shade that we enrolled is this one which is perfect because i was complaining that this from um, fair moons is a bit dark so i mean this is just perfect 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 i can use it on the inner corner yeah very excited to have this out I have not played with it this year, so we are in for a treat. And then finally my hand-picked shade is this like pastel green down here. And that one comes from my Peachy Queen Angel palette. I am trying to use my pastel palettes like crazy now because uh, I tend to gravitate towards pastels in the summer, spring, summer and uh, not winter. So I'm trying to make some use out of one of my pastel palettes. This is a pastel dream as well. I have a... Uh, I have a video testing this one out. I will try and remember to link it down below. But the shade I, uh, I decided to go for was this shade 888. I always <laughs> bring in like a light shimmer, uh, so I thought, you know what, let's just um, challenge myself a bit and hand pick a matte shade. And I think that will work out very well with this color story. So, yeah, those are my shades. These are the palettes that I will be working on. A good selection. Now I feel like the Blend Bunny one is kind of out of place, but... Yeah, it's just six uses. I will have that out in no time, but these are a fistful of palettes and uh, yeah, super, super excited. Let me know what you think about this color story. Uh, are you doing this project and how is it going for you? I think I'm just fucking killing it. And yeah, I love this project. It challenges me to use different palettes and to really focus in on palettes and get to know them and um, get to know them much better. So, yeah. I hope that you are doing very well and uh, I would love to hear from you. Say hi in the comments, let me know that you were here and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!